lightning weekend so far for the best amateur players in the world, the top 100 of whom have gathered to put their skills on display. And they'll have one more shot to impress here on day three of the Topps Amateur Showcase presented by MLB The Show. This afternoon, we wrap things up with the third and final game in this round-robin competition between the international prospects and the prospects representing the East. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Potsy, and welcome back to another MLB 15 Road to the Show series. Now, this is game three, the final game to uh, the Amateur Showcase, and then I'm going on to the MLB Draft and hopefully get drafted to a good team and become a star there. Now, last two episodes, the two games, I've been doing pretty well. Doing really well here. So, this is the third and final game. This is pretty much the make or break it, which I think... To show off your skills. And we're going to go on defense here. And hopefully get a nice little diving grab. Maybe a little, you know, air air potty here. So we're going to get a liner here. And look at that. Boom. Already. I said no, sir. Not nothing. No, no, no. Not today. I'm going to get that leap. That's not a bad leap. I mean, if I didn't leap, it would have been a gapper. And we got a hit. And I'm like, nope. That's that's cool. Because I'm going to be on Instagram. And possibly Sports Center. But <laughs> they're at one nothing. It's cool. It's cool. Hopefully for me, I can uh, you know hit some hit some dingers here. Not a bad you know uh, two games, but got the three seventy five batting average with two ribbies, um, which is good. I mean, not bad. I mean, okay, it is good for you know for this. We get a nice deep ball to center field, and it's caught. Cool, fantastic. Okay, see that's that's you know probably I me. Mean, sometimes I like to when I sometimes go with the approach, I really 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 want to hit. A dinger. I really want to hit a bomb, but sometimes you it's you got to not really think that. If you got to play where the ball is, if that ball's outside, take that ball outside. Go oppo, man. That, that's what I like to see. And I uh, see right there, the ball kind of tailed out in a way, and I tried to took the other way. And you know that dude had a beautiful grab, but hopefully I would love it if that hit off the wall. But it didn't. It's cool. But we are just it's it's been tough here. This game is like. It was kind of boring, like, as I'm talking. That's how boring it was. But we got a runner on first, and hopefully we can get a little base knock here as there's the pitch. And look at that beautiful grounder right there. Beautiful base hit. That's what you came to see, man. You're going to have that. I don't think they really played uh, the, the lefty uh, shift either. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. That ball was, like, pretty much dead center if they did, the you know, pretty much the Ryan Howard or, you know, the David Ortiz shift. I mean, that, that would have, I would have been out if they rolled on the uh, shift. But you see right here, 5-2, to two, man. They, they came back. They, they swung the bat around. And pretty much from here, it, it's done. It, I'm going to – it's done. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. There was pretty much – that was the only, you know, defensive thing I got. And uh, if I can do something here on offense, but it's really not going to make a difference. This game is pretty much done. I'm getting burnt, as you see right here. It, that sun is beating on my neck. I can feel it. I'm already burned on my arm. I, I can feel it. Forgot my sunscreen at home at the hotel. And, you know, my mom's like, You should have brought your sunscreen. I'm like, Shut up, Ma! Shut up! All right, whenever well, I tell mom, shut up. Love you, Ma. Um, <laughs> but that's going to pretty much wrap up the game. And hopefully, you know, with that being said, hopefully that the, uh, they will be draft. The scouts won't look at this saying, Wow, that kid sucks. I'm like, No, I don't. It's hot weather. And my shoe is ripped. Okay, I'll find any excuse to just for my poor athlete. But uh, but uh, we do get the loss here. But it's cool. You know, but um, hopefully that doesn't ruin the uh, the draft. And you know, hopefully because to the whole uh, the two games they're saying, hey man, you're doing pretty well. You know, you're getting the higher round. They said early first round, so that's a good sign. Even even with this, I'm I'm praying that it doesn't drop because of the poor. Uh, game I had, but let's take it on to the MLB draft, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off here, and you guys are gonna see where I go. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and guys, uh, I'm out. Peace. Welcome everyone to this year's Major League Baseball first year player draft. Today, the best up and coming baseball talent from around the country and the world, many of whom have just recently competed in the Topps Amateur Showcase will begin their journey as professional baseball players. With the fifth pick of the first round, the Houston Astros select Darren Potts, a shortstop from the East Region. 
Okay, so another top draft prospect is off the board after that selection. A lot of people, and of course his new organization, have high hopes for him. What do you guys think about his future? Well, I like this pick a lot. His talent certainly warrants him being taken early in the first round like this. And he looked very promising at the Topps Amateur Showcase. And from what I can tell, he definitely has the potential to be a very productive major leaguer sometime down the road. Yeah, his new organization has to be very excited about getting the opportunity to draft him. Well, like you said, Steve, he has looked very good leading up to today. I just hope he's really taking the time to enjoy this moment because it's a bit of a whirlwind, but it's also something he should cherish and celebrate with those that have helped him get to this point. I think we're all looking forward to watching him develop and see if he lives up to those high expectations everybody has for him.